What do I need to know about Ozempic side effects? So for the purposes of this video, it's important to realize that Ozempic is the medication semaglutide. It is dosed at one or two milligrams a week for diabetes and usually at 2.4 milligrams a week for obesity, where it's called Wegovi. To keep things simple in this video, we'll just say the word semaglutide, just like we would use acetaminophen instead of Tylenol. So when we're comparing side effects in this video, what we're talking about is patients who received semaglutide compared to patients who didn't and just had a placebo. And it's really important to realize that for patients who are given semaglutide and they actually experience 89.7% of them had some kind of side effect, that sounds really scary. But when you compare it to the placebo group, 86% of them reported a side effect. So that context can really be helpful in terms of understanding these studies. The most common side effect that we see with Ozempic or semaglutide is nausea. In the step one trial, 44% of participants given the medication did experience some nausea versus 17% who were just given placebo. We also often talk about diarrhea. So again, in the semaglutide group, 32% experienced diarrhea versus 16% in the placebo group. But it's really important to remember that these two side effects, in addition to others like gas and abdominal pain and heartburn, do tend to resolve over time as your body gets used to the medication. And we would never expect you to suffer through these side effects or just kind of suck it up. You need to talk to your doctor if you're having these side effects and we can help you. Another important consideration is the risk of gallstones. In the group that received semaglutide, 1.8% of those participants did experience a gallstone versus 0.6% in the placebo group. Now these patients in this study did not have diabetes, but 0.6% of the group that received the medication had a low blood sugar episode versus actually 0.8% in the placebo group. So you don't have to be concerned about an inappropriate reduction in your blood glucose if you're taking this medication for the purposes of weight loss. Another side effect that gets a lot of press is the risk of pancreatitis. And in these trials, 0.2% of patients experienced acute pancreatitis versus zero in the placebo group. So that raised a lot of red flags. But actually subsequent more in-depth studies looking at this risk actually showed that semaglutide does not seem to increase the risk of pancreatitis in patients on it. The take home point here is to take this medication under the direction of a physician. And if you're having any side effects, bring it up with them so they can help you manage them. Hope that helps.